Hey everyone, James Reeves, TFB TV. We're at TriggerCon 2023. I'm here at the Rock River booth with my buddy Trent. We have this monster of an AR here, a 338 Lapua AR. I mean, is this an AR-10? What do you characterize this as? We're, we're calling it our BT-6. It's billet receivers on the 338. This thing really just drives, thing, drives around home, long distance shooter. We've just started really rolling them out. We showed them a few years ago as early prototypes at SHOT Show. Ran into some issues. We weren't comfortable putting that on the market, obviously, so we had to put delays on it. We had rounds, they were dipping forward into the mag, obviously with all that weight on them. Yeah. So we had to establish that first, get that fixed first. And then we had some inconsistencies with ammo with, with 338 Lapua, depending on manufacturer, right? So some loads ran hot, some loads not so much, but we're, we've finally gotten it ironed out. So I'm really excited to bring this thing to the market. Well, talk to me about the basic specs and features. Is it going to come like this if I yes, decide it will to buy come one? Exactly as how you're seeing it currently, uh -huh. right? We're looking at doing possibly in the future going into an adjustable gas block, but currently the gas block we're running with the gas hole size and everything, we are able to get it suppressed and non suppressed and running just fine. Oh, okay. Cool. Yep. Yeah, well, how about you take me front to back? Give me the features, the breakdown, what you okay. got on here. So on the front here, we have our muzzle, to, muzzle brake, right? Works great. It's just kind of like a 50 cal. You don't feel it much, especially if you're laying prone on it. We have a quick detachable handguard here, sort of using a camming locking system. The barrel also is a quick teardown barrel, so that way you can fit it nicely in a case so it's more compact. We're really trying to push towards the law enforcement government side with this for agencies and everything alike. It does have a side charge here, side charge handle. It's non-reciprocating, so you don't have to worry about it flying back at your face every time you're shooting, obviously. So it does feature a uh, detachable brass deflector in case if you need to get some extra length on that, obviously. But yeah, what does that mean to me? Because I don't, I, like, why would I want that on this rifle? So if you notice that your brass is kicking at a different position or getting in your face, which it shouldn't be, it is going to be detachable so you can get an increased one to get the brass further away from it. Got it. Okay, that makes sense. And then we are running a Magpul PRS stock on the tail end. Talk to me about magazine compatibility. What's it using? Right now we have a proprietary magazine for it. We had some issues with spring collapse, so we really just wanted to design something that was gonna work for ours specifically. Otherwise you get inconsistencies going with other people because there's not a mil spec or anything of the sort for it. Talk to me about accuracy. What can I expect to get out of this rifle? Ooh, accuracy, we were seeing about a half inch group so far at 100. We haven't gotten to test it out on the long range yet, but we're trying to get it out into our media group hands mm -hmm. to take it out to the ranges in Montana. Oh, that sounds awesome. I wish I could help you with that. But like we said before the camera started rolling, like I'm an absolute piece of shit when it comes to <laughs> shooting. You know, I don't have a lot of long range ranges, so I don't, I mean, it looks cool. Yeah. I think they're going to think that it's cool. But, you know, for me, I'm like, ah, I can't even own it. Like, why, yeah. why even, you know, it's like, I want a tractor too, but I live in the city. Absolutely, you know, like, yeah. why not? So, uh, down the block. yeah, right. <laughs> um, barrel specs. What's it made out of? Barrel specs. We're run, running a chrome molly barrel just your standard vanadium barrels right now we're doing phosphate coating but it might change depending on if we want to go to a nitride barrel in the future we're looking at some anodized type 3 hard coat anodized mm -hmm. on all the aluminum obviously sure so everything's fully blasted and buffed in-house talk to me about the trigger the trigger we're running just our two-stage trigger currently in it we're running a five pound trigger we didn't want to go too light with the weight of the carry and everything coming forward on it, but we'll test that in the future. It, just see what our boundaries are. How light can we go before it's unsafe, obviously, for people. Is there anything that I'm missing, like that the PRS guys out there, since I'm not one, that maybe you would like to convey about this rifle that they might be asking right now, the, their computer screen, like a weirdo? Hmm. You covered all the bases? Yeah, I pretty much covered all the bases. I mean, being semi-automatic is a huge advantage nowadays. I know a lot of guys are running bolt actions on this because of accuracy, and it's honestly hard to get 338 to run in a semi-automatic platform. I don't think they're going to have a doubt in their mind on the accuracy on this, though. Comparative to our other product that we have, I would put them against most bolt actions on the market. See, I love that. I love that whenever somebody makes a, a confident statement like that. Yeah. Trent, the two most important questions for any trade show, how much and when? I haven't gotten pricing available <laughs> yet. And no one ever answers no. it either. Especially since we're getting, we just got parts finalized and got everything ironed out on uh -huh. it. I cannot give you a price yet. Uh -huh. We had one listed there for a bit, but obviously we weren't confident in putting that out like that. So, And, and I applaud that. I mean, I think it's great. We, we do see time to time people that 
release things to the market that aren't ready. So yeah. I'm glad to hear that you guys are putting a little bit more development. When is this finally going to be available? We're expecting to have the first 100 rolling out here in about the next two months. So. Trent, thank you so much for being on the program. Thank Guys, thanks for tuning in. Stay tuned, we're going to be bringing you more from TriggerCon 2023. Thank <laughs> you.